Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm your friendly neighborhood Oops It's Roops. Uh, something a little different today. We're going to talk about homebrew on the Wii, specifically Wii Flow. So I've played around with some of the Wii homebrew throughout the years. I always thought Wii Flow looked really cool. I could never get it to work. Um, I read a ton of forums. There's a lot of conflicting information out there. Um, and the specific steps I took, I hadn't really seen in any tutorials or anything. So I just thought I would share. Hopefully I can help out at least one of you out there. Um, the first thing I'll cover is I'm not responsible if you change any of your settings and you break your Wii. That's totally on you, not me. Um, and I'm not saying the way I've got things set up is like the number one best way. I'm just sharing what worked for me. So to start out... Um, if you've gotten this far and you're messing with Wii Flow, you already know what D2X CIOS is. Um, I'm just going to cover the settings I've got mine set up on. Um, mine set up on CIOS V10 Beta 5.3, Base 56, Slot 249, Revision 21010, and it's right above me here if I'm going to read through them too fast for you. Uh, V10 Beta 5.2 in Slot uh, Base 57, Slot 250, uh, the highest rev 65535, uh, CIOS V10 beta 5.2, base 58, slot 251, uh, revision 65535. Um, so that's just kind of the basic setup, how the CIOS is on mine, again, and, and I have WeFlow working. Um, next thing to talk about is the SD cards themselves. Um, FAT32 file system, you got to have it formatted with allocation unit size at 32K. Um, if you've got an SD card bigger than 32 gig, Windows isn't natively going to let you format an SD card that way. Um, there's a lot of programs out there to override that or get around it. Um, I've seen information on the internet that said micro SD cards and adapters do not work. Um, I can say definitively that's not true. I've had SD micro SD cards with adapters working with WeFlow. Um, there is a catch there they do work some of them work it's very 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 select few um, I've got about probably half a dozen different adapters and whatnot and I can't tell you specifically which ones do and don't work because I don't even know anymore but there's so many varieties of SD adapters out there um, and I've even had it where a certain micro SD card will work but not in its own adapter. I had to put it like in a different branded one to get it to work. Um, that being said, I did find just a straight up SD card seems to be a little bit more reliable, or at least they worked kind of right off the bat where a lot of the micro SD cards uh, with an adapter didn't always work. Um, once I kind of got around that, as crazy as it sounds, the other thing I found out, uh, two of my computers that I've tried this on have a built-in SD card reader. They, when I copied the files using those, WeFlow would not recognize it. It wouldn't work, it would hang, it would crash all the time. Um, I found just a cheap SD card reader helped fix a lot of the problems there. So I, I can't stress enough if you're having trouble with WeFlow, and you think you've got all your files right, you know you've got like a good working SD card, I strongly encourage you try a different card, try a different SD card reader. If you've got another PC, um, give those a shot. And then the next part of the video here, I'm gonna share just a few things on WeFlow itself. So now as you're going through, uh, trying your different SD cards and your different adapters and whatnot, um, every time you start your Wii back up with a different card in there or a different set of settings, you're going to want to go to Wii Options and then Data Management, Save Data, and then Wii. And you're going to want to find your Wii Flow save file and click on Erase and then confirm if it when it asks if you're sure. So if you're at a point now where you can actually get WeFlow to load, uh, your first step is always to go to the home menu down here on the bottom, and then click on reload cache. 
Uh, the next thing we'll have you do is go to the gear for settings. And when you're on the first page, you're going to want to go to where it says NAMD emulation settings. And you're going to hit set. And you want to make sure where it says saves NAMD emulation that that is set to off. And the next thing within settings, you're going to want to go to page two and where it says startup settings, you'll click go. And you're going to want force load CIOS to on and force CIOS revision to 250. All right, and that's all I've got for today. I hope the information helped. If it did, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Oops, it's Roops.